Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um uh, yo who we got over here man. We got look, 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 we got an update on the on the Young Thug trial man. again. Okay, we got um uh, Rick Ross making fun of Drake's mansion being flooded man. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, we also got Ross trying to put you on the game man. Um, uh, what else we got over here? Do we have something else man? We got um uh, Pepper getting kicked off a flight. Yeah yeah yeah, I know I know man. Little Woody with the with the with the flashing the flexing the money. You know what I'm saying? Um uh and, and something else over here. Remy Ma. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap, so go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Yo, check this out, man. We'll be at over here. Um, all right, look, 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 look. Let me tell you something, okay? Uh, <laughs> this damn weather right here. Look, the earth is tired of your ish, man. You you done you done shenaned again, right? And the la and for the last time, and it, it's like the earth is trying to spit you off of it, okay? More and more, it's looking like the earth is trying to shake us off of it, okay? It's 7 p.m. weekday. It's 95 degrees a day, okay? And and the Canadian artist Drake's house is underwater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, look. Bro's having a bad year, man. He 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 dropped the track with J. Cole claiming to be the GOAT. Kendrick challenged the claim. He thought Kendrick would have been an easy dub. Mistake number three, okay? Mistake number two was sleeping with his friends, ladies, and spouses and boasting about it. Mistake number one was mimicking the culture so effectively while trying to undermine it. You know what I mean? Cause, look, look, concerning the people he worked with, bro said, I always knew I had to smoke y'all ninjas. <laughs> anyway, uh... Canada was hit with record-breaking rainstorm that hit Toronto this week, right? And Drake's mansion looked like it's a bit underwater. Okay, take a look at the, take a look at this sewage water. What looked like sewage water coming through this man's house. Take a look. Man, talking about he hoping it's espresso martini. I'm over here like I hope it ain't diarrhea water, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, uh, Rick Ross has seen what happened to the Canadian artist, and he posted this. He said, minor issues. <laughs> Ross, that was the perfect opportunity to say a minor issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, like why, why did he? Come on, man. You know what I mean? He followed that up with saying this. He said, she wet, wet. <laughs> <laughs> now, someone else in the comment said, um, Kendrick done sent the plague. Right? And the jokes just kept pouring in. Okay? Pouring in. Right? Look, someone else said, ma, 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 ma. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so someone else, someone else said, that's just Drake's tears. Look, folks were like, somehow Kendrick did it. Okay? But look, the man is in the middle of a disease. He's in the storm of his life, a complete disaster, and folks are raining down jokes on bruh. You know what I mean? Like, the, look, the internet is the perfect place for all the class clowns that that finally have an opportunity to make a, a crowd of people laugh, okay? Look, the man walked into the shade room and he probably stormed out. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, if you're feeling lonely and you need a pickup line, Rosé has your order up. You ready for this? Take a listen to Rosé's pickup line. Listen, I'm out here with some of my little player partners and we just sharing game amongst each other and what I just wanted to share with them. And this go for anybody that's watching. Let's say you at the awards, you anywhere, and you run into, I'm talking about A-level, baddest chicks you could ever imagine. When you, listen, she could have her two bodyguards with her. All you gotta do is walk up. Excuse me, excuse me. Would it be rude for me to introduce myself? No, keep going, but everybody got to understand your strengths and your weaknesses. I understand my strengths. I got confidence, culture, swag. Ooh. No, it's different levels of game for different levels of situations. You did. When you in front of somebody who done heard everything in the world, that's when you pull out your A game. That's like with Rose running to Jeff Bezos' niece. Uh, <laughs> all you ladies are like, mm, Rick Ross, I mean, you know, maybe I'll talk to him. <laughs> uh, you, you must have missed the story that we posted about when Rick Ross said that um, he fell asleep on, he, he, he was in, having carnal relations with a woman and fell asleep on top of her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Poor lady. She's like, oh my God, he dead. No, he's sleep. He's sleep. Anyway, um, uh, and, and 
I ain't gonna even think about it. Uh, now, we reported to you yesterday, right? That the judge in the young duck tree, you're like, what you gonna say? That, never mind all that. Why you always, what are you always asking questions for? Uh, the judge in the young thug trial, um, remember we told you the other day that judge Suge Knight was taken off the case for a variety of reasons. And, um, he was replaced with another judge by the name of Shakura L. Ingram. Okay. Judge Shakura has recused herself from the case because Ingram's deputy has been arrested for an improper relationship with thugs co-defendant. Can you believe that man? Big Briss. Okay. His name is Chris, but you know, and, um, uh, the judge didn't want the potential appearance of impartiality, okay? Now, uh, for the record, Young Thug has been locked up for two years now uh, with no bail. And now we got a new judge in the Young Thug case, okay? Judge Paige Reese Whitaker. Take a look at her. Hopefully, Sauce got her picture up, okay? That's what she looked like, okay? You know, I saw someone in the comments like, she got that look. I trust her. What, what look is you talking about, man? Someone else said, why she give bro a chance and not try to make Thug an example? Close quote. <laughs> Look, I don't know, man. I mean, you can't really call it nowadays. But uh, you know what? If 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 Thugger let her touch his dreads, he he getting out. <laughs> yeah, yeah she's like, oh, wow, yeah, dreads. Are just, yeah, just touch it. He getting out, okay? If she's interested in his hair. Um, you like the internet don't take nothing seriously. I know, I know. Now, um, during the case, we've been seeing a whole lot of Lil Woody. Okay, he's been on the stand for the last few months. According to the news, the man then died and came back to life. His friends died, whatever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, uh, and 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 um, he's po look, he's been posting videos with bags of money. I hate when people do this kind of stuff. Take a look at this insanity. I thought a broke nigga said something. Bro said, bro said, I thought a broke ninja said something. You know, uh, many would believe pulling money out like that, especially out of a plastic bag, is broke people behavior. I'm not saying he's broke. I'm saying that's broke people behavior. You know what I mean? It's possible to be rich, but behave like you're poor. You know what I mean? Um, and look, I seen Rick Ross do it. I saw him flashing all his wealth and stuff like that. Flashing his, his, um, his, his teeth and his, him and Puffy. I saw both of them do it behind Elon Musk, who just looked at the camera. Okay. Uh, you like you like well, well what about wearing designer clothes is that broke people behavior no 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 that's got people behavior okay that means you got got you spent fifty seven dollars to sell you spent fifty seven dollars for them to sell you a bag for twenty eight hundred dollars and you fell for it because it's European yeah you know I mean talk about oh the materials premium and it feels better then when you find out you got got and purchase a fifty seven dollar bag for twenty eight hundred dollars you mad at us yeah you know I mean talk about oh it's because you broke you know what I'm saying no no the clothes is wearing you at this point. Okay, people don't misunderstand. They, they misunderstand the value where the value is. My bad. Um, anyway, Lil Woody right has provided his input on the artist Gunna. Okay, who folks can't figure out if they want to call Bro a snitch or or an amazing artist. They don't know what to call the man. Okay, um, Young Thug's kids were even calling the man a snitch. It seems like sometimes Young Thug refers to him as a snitch and then not, and then then a snitch and then not. So I can't really tell. Okay. Uh, Lil Woody posted this. This is what he said concerning Gunna. He said, I don't think Gunna is a snitch because nothing he say is going to be used in that trial. Taking a plea deal. Everybody, everybody done took a plea deal that's that been going to jail. Every street person know Gunna ain't did nothing wrong. He ain't got to get on the stand and testify. You can call me a snitch all day. All day. It is what it is. Don't bother me how, how you feel. Just don't, don't, don't get out of pocket. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised. So many dudes are so concerned. Oh, you a snake. You a snake. You a snake. Why are you doing crime around all these people that you can't trust? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the thing. I trusted them, but then they they told on me. Well, I mean, that you you was committing crime for crying out loud. Think if you're committing crime, why would, with someone else? Why would you trust them to do the right thing? That's so dumb. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, we gonna commit crime together, but I'm gonna be shocked when you try to preserve your life by telling. Oh, I thought they was loyal. No, you're stupid. Damn, you're stupid. That's just what it is, okay? You can't trust nobody, man. Even the Bible says that, man. You know what I mean? Per Look, curse be the man that trusts in man. I mean, how much more simpler can it get? Don't trust people, damn it, okay? I, th I thought you were gonna be loyal. He stole, stupid. Gosh, you're so dumb. You steal, they kill, they murder, they rape, and then, but but they but their friends expect loyalty. I mean, how dumb can we get? Okay, 
I don't know. I, I, whenever I hear the snitch thing, it just drives me up the wall. Because I'm like, people are so stupid. My fault. What's my time looking like? I know. I look, I'm, I'm making all the all, all the gangbangers mad. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Are you supposed to have loyalty? You didn't. You just mad because you slow too. I mean, come on. You commit crime with somebody else. You you expect loyalty from them? I don't. It, listen, I've committed crime before, right? I mean, it wasn't my smartest moment. You know stupid is and stupid does. I was stupid at the time, okay? I committed crime. Yes, I was slow, right? But here's the thing. Anybody I commit crime with, right? They could have told on me. They didn't, right? I didn't tell on them. But if they did, I can't act shocked. Why? Because they're committing crimes, you know what I'm saying? They're doing, they're doing things that they're not supposed to do. So I can't expect good behavior out of people behaving badly because it's inconsistent. Think. They're like, it's too hard to think. I know, I know. I know it's too hard to think. Anyway, look, let me go to my shout outs real quick. Do I have a shout out? I don't even think I do. Let me, oh, today's Black Business Wednesday. I ain't getting none. I didn't get no black businesses. You know what I did get? I got a comment from who's the person that gave me the comment let me see if did i i know i took a picture of the comment cuban p cuban p said what up with the shout out for a cuban for a cuban business on wednesdays he said yo yo we black as cuff over here bro he said i got a cuban sandwich shop called cuban combinations i do all the combinations i'm the only sandwich there you the only sandwich bro or you or you the only sandwich seller there the sandwiches talk over there he said i'm the only sandwich there 24 7 uh, with a wide variety of toppings. Tampa, Florida, West Side. Okay? He said, don't discriminate on me, bro. No, 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 no. Uh, did you send it to the to the Insta? Because I would love to promo your stuff. For real, real talk. Send, s send it to us on Insta, man. You know what it is, man. We be trying to promote Black Business Wednesdays, but you know, we equal opportunity, man. So it's not just for black businesses. You know what I mean? It's not just like you, you're like, not like black, 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 black. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, though, like, if. If you a minority, you know what I mean? Black Business Wednesdays is for the minorities, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so you know, you got to send us your stuff, okay? Cuban P, I, I didn't see it. I checked right before I came on this, on this recording, okay? And right now, it's three, it's three, it's 340, okay? Ish. Uh, all right, so I asked y'all yesterday. I said, man, who y'all voting for? Trump? Y'all voting for this? Y'all voting for Biden? Who y'all voting for, man? Uh, Miss T said, uh, I'm voting for Christ. Um, I, I think for the Trump Clinton election, I think I, I did that. That's what I did. And really, honestly, just to be just to be real. Right. I mean, I, you know, because I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to vote for either of them. I was like, I can't do it. I can't. But technically, really not voting for anybody is kind of a vote for the person that's already kind of sort of winning. So that like that's how it's going to be counted. Like you go for your own integrity and whatnot and for your own character. Be like, nah, I'm voting for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But I guarantee you, I guarantee you. Uh, I don't know if Jesus is gonna is is running in the American elections, okay? Because you know America, this, this is America. Yeah, you know I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't they don't love God like that. You know what I mean? And um, I don't I don't think it's about America at this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, God's rod. God's rod said I watched Nick Jones and um, you for the content and scripture references related to whatever's going on. Uh, give me a, a, a and to give me a little Bible study. Um, yeah, yeah, man, Nick Jones, man, I like that. I like your channel, man. It's a, it's a humble dude, man. Dude, he's mad humble. Uh, he's really low key, man. I like watching his videos, man. He's he's like he's my speed. I hope I, he might not like us, but I like him though. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's cool. Uh, Albert Williams said, "Yo, I feel your channel has been on 3K subs since 2020. That's what I feel like, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something." This video may very likely get about 10,000 views if every single one of y'all is subbed, right? Um, uh, that might could that might could take me over to the 400k. You know what I'm saying? So uh, help us help us out. Get take us to the 400k. I know some of y'all like, yeah, I'm driving. Whatever, pull over to the side and hit the sub button if you ain't sub, bro. You know what I'm saying? Help your boy out. You know what I mean? Uh, and Beaky said, why are you trying to sound like academics? <laughs> I'm like, look, you know how many people say that, man? You're a follower. You're a follower. You copy what a lot of other people say. Be on, man, Beaky. Uh, and Tyler. Tyler Tyler Jamal said, Lamech, yo. Uh, First Kings 22, Micaiah. Deception at an all-time high. My man's right here with the scripture knowledge, man. If you, if you ain't read Kings 22, man, there's a very eye-opening passage about some uh, God calling a meeting with some spirits and 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 one of the spirits stepping up saying how he's going to um, 
how he's going to get himself involved in politics. Uh, you should read it if you haven't read it. Uh, definitely. First Kings 22. Make sure you read that. Let's get right back to right this bad boy. It was my time to look like uh, 14 minutes. I right, check this out, man. Where we at over here? Um, the legendary artist Pepper, you know, from Salt and Pepper, the legendary uh, from the legendary duo Salt and Pepper. OK, she, uh, Pepper was removed from a, from a Southwest flight. Surprise, surprise. Right. The hip hop legend purchased two tickets due to a knee injury, and they had the audacity to stick someone in a seat next to her, man. Take a look at this insanity. So these people took took me off the plane, brought this other man on the plane, and took me off the plane. I'm not trying to do the race thing, y'all know I ain't trying to do that. So, hi y'all. I never thought I would be a part of the Southwest Southwest prom of getting kicked off the plane, y'all. Pepper, I can't believe it. I'm sorry that you feel that way. And the other passengers are saying they're going to write a letter for me, everybody that's on the plane, and help complain for me because they was I was wrongly removed off the plane. I know. Can you believe it? Me. O M G. So now I'm exiting. Yeah, I have to show them. No, no, I have to show them. So see, oh, well, well, see the hands. So this is what's happening to me. This is. I'm going to be more in trouble because you removed me. You said I would. You removed me off the plane. No, I. I needed assistance. I was. I had assistance, and I did on there. But what is the reason? You said I was. Is that the reason? Yeah, so it started off no, just tell me the reason taking me so off you now. Start from the beginning where it started from. If you want to go from there. You said that I needed the plane. Um, so once you got on the plane, we, I asked you why did you need a second seat? You weren't wearing your brace or anything like that. Southwest has a customer size policy, so you weren't encroaching on the second side. But then later on, once you put your brace on and had your second one. Um, it was fine, you were, and you and you apologized. Right. Because so then you came back, and, and now you were filming everybody, and then that was just no. I wasn't. Fi I was talking to so my assistant. I wasn't I filming. This is my first time filming, actually. I apologize for that. If that's how you feel, but I need you to get off the jet bridge or because start. I started filming. I just want to be clear on my kick off of the Southwest. Is it what's my reason? So I can be firm. The safety and everything for the crew and everything like that. So I need you to get off the, the safety jet of the crew yeah. from me. Just so be I very clear. Yeah, I need to close this so door. the safety of the crew, I needed to get off because right. of the safety. I need you to get off the that I was. We need to push this flag you, out. You, I, I apologize for. I understand you feel wrong, but I need you to get up to the difference just so for your safety. And this is the other one, y'all. She she came and brought another man and took put him in my seat. And Ms. these two Jennifer, people to took to the me Jeff off the plane, the literally the took me off the plane and put another man Ms. in my two seats you. that I bought. Two seats, not one, y'all. Two. I apologize that you, you know, you weren't in the policy guidelines. Thank you. They owe a public. I know. Now my meeting today, I will have to cancel it. I was on my way to Tennessee, y'all. I was on my way to Tennessee. Um, that one too. They put another man in my uh, seat. She keeps turning around because she knows she was wrong for letting me off the plane. Get off the jet bridge just for safety. Yep. Safety. Yes, yes, because this whole thing moves. I'm not don't don't talk me like a dog, man. Talk about something. Come on, come on. You go ahead. I can walk, ma'am. Thank you. This now you want to rush me off no. then, and I was. No, this is but you, but you don't even know the reason. You can't. You don't need to know, right? Is that what it is? Unless you're off this jeopardy. You don't need to know, right? Is that just tell me? You're the head, and you don't need to know the reason. You just need to just know that I got to get off. You don't even know the reason why they're kicking me off. This is crazy. She's not even telling me why. Okay, finish. Tell me why you was kicking me off. So then we had to take you out just because the staff... You said I was filming, that's why. They, they said that you were filming the crew, but I do need you to get off this jet I was. I need to close this door. I'm I was sorry. filming the crew, and that's why I have to get off the plane. Yes. That's all I want to know. Oh, there you have it, y'all. They said I was filming, and now I have to get off the plane. <laughs> What's your name? Because I'm reporting everyone. Tell me your name. Hey, Skylar. Say, say your name. You, you all were name. Look. 
I shouldn't have got off. The only the reason I got off y'all because of the other passengers. But she wasn't wearing a knee brace and she wasn't approaching on the second seat. So I did tell her we we're going to go on a pull boat. Um, she will get her second seat refunded. So then I told her we're going to do that. And, and I said, okay, thank you. Yeah, so then when we went downstairs, um, apparently she was filming crew and then the crew just felt uncomfortable with her just being there because she was being a bit disruptive but from what they said. And then when I went down there, she did put on her knee brace and then she was on the second seat. So then I said that was okay. And then after that, the crew just felt like it wasn't safe enough for them for her to go safe. because on the wall, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, for her and the crew. So just, and then I saw um, um, they made the call, so I just. Are we putting anybody else on? Okay. Okay. Do you get to talk to me? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Well, he had to finish. I, that's so what I said. I appreciate you putting the camera away. So okay. I won't. I won't. I won't show you. I won't show you. But. So see how the respect is? We don't get the respect. You you were looking at him, listening to him, but when it's time for me, you don't. I'm not pointing it at you. Yeah. You know. But I'm just trying to. You already don't want to hear me, right? No, I'm listening. Okay. So, as he did say, I had two seats. Mm -hmm. He did resolve. He came back and said, oh, you do. You have your brace. You have your sexy seat. You can stay. I then said, thank you. Did I not say thank you? Oh. Just talk to me. Just I said thank me. you. Okay. Went back and sat down. All the other passengers and I got on a FaceTime. I wasn't filming with my assistant to tell them because I was telling them to cancel the meeting at first. I wasn't FaceTime. I wasn't filming it. I was on FaceTime with my assistant. They thought I was. The only time I was was when, to, when they were removing me. I needed to know because so I could articulate it back. So when they said, so all the, the other passenger said I'm gonna write a letter ma'am on your behalf did they did not say that uh, I that. right because that was I was, I was wrong it was wrong for what they doing to me the other passengers are saying that so the other passengers are saying that that they're gonna write a letter on behalf of me because that is I just need I, to hear your side of the story yeah so I was just okay. saying I'm not having I don't have a count on you so they said that they gonna write a letter on behalf of me because it was I was wrongly removed I was talking to my assistant to tell her to cancel the meeting because I have to get off the plane. But then he said, sorry, it's okay. So I sat back down. So I called her back and I FaceTimed, I said, hey, so they might've thought I was filming, but I was FaceTiming her and said, oh, they said I could stay now. Mm -hmm. She was very classy with that. I like the way she did that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, yeah, I like the way she, she behaves herself. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm mad bro was surrounded with hearts though. Look, look, I need to speak to somebody white. Get this thing, look, look, get me. I, I want a refund. Pass me to somebody white. They, look, when she saw the white guy, she, uh, can I have everybody's name? Can I have your name? Look, where the white person at? You know, I'm white. Look, 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 let me tell you what happened, white person. A lot of y'all like, yo, that's Pepper? That's what I said. I said, look, the shade room claims it was Pepper. I think it was, it don't look like Pepper that I remember, but it is Pepper. What do you think? People gonna stay the same the way they look like for, for years and years and years? Think about it. When was the last time you saw Pepper? Last week? Last month? M O M F? Okay? You probably ain't seen her in years. Okay? Look, she just be minding her business, man. That's why I like her. You know what I mean? I like the way she handled that situation, though. You know what I mean? Because, you know, she was still upset, but she still. She was upset, but she was still kind of classy with it. Okay? Didn't I mention um, Salt and Pepper last week? I feel like I did. I think I did. I don't remember. Uh, I don't know if I was talking to somebody, if I was talking to y'all. Anyway, look, 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 he tried to escort her out and she was just pushing the issue. She's just pushing it, okay? She's pushing it good. Look, he was mad that she was expressing herself. You're like, do you have any other stories? Oh, and finally, I do have another story. Since you're rushing me, since you're rushing me, okay? Let me tell you something, man. If anybody gonna solve a crime, it's gonna be the internet, okay? Remy Ma has a lot going on. She got a lot going on right now, man. Last month, her son got slapped with first degree murder charges. The internet looked at the body language between her and the battle rapper Easy the Block Captain and deduced that she was playing the field with bro. And that's the and 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 then the relationship between her and Papoose, it, that's when it looked like it might could have been over. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people was mad for Papoose. They was like, nah, Pat stayed solid for her, man. For six years. Ooh, that made me mad just to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, man. Don't mess with married women, real talk. Because um, the Most High says, if you commit adultery, you a fool. Plain and simple, you just a, you a fool. If you commit adultery of your spouse, you a fool, okay? 
Um, and if you mess with anybody, you you imagine if God like when God say yo it's too it like if God say yo um yo look at the lights there there are now lights in the sky you follow me if God say you know what you stupid ain't ain't nothing you could do about it bro you automatically stupid kid he said if you commit adultery you stupid that's just what it is you know what I mean I, I feel bad for people that get cheated on because that means. They now realize, oh, I'm married to somebody that is just stupid. And now I got to try to interact with them. But they stupid. They, they don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? Because when you will, when you will risk everything, how the hell did I get here? Oh, my bad. When you will risk your whole family, right? For, for, for seven minutes and 43 seconds a nut. you like, you, 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 you. Yeah. My bad. Anyway, um, I didn't even know how I got there. But look, you know, look, somebody need to hear that. Okay. Anyway, um, folks said that Remy Ma and Papu's relationship might have been done, okay? Now, the two haven't spoken on it, right? But um, some folks started doing the math, and things look like it might not be adding up for a lot of people, okay? She has a new song out with Fat Joe called Out of Control. Folks then noticed that the writing credits on the song has her maiden name, Smith, as opposed to her married name, Mackie, okay? Now, again... We haven't heard anything official. It's just an observation, okay? On the writing credits, no, nothing more, nothing less, okay? But look, a lot of women use their maiden name to not jack up the identity business-wise of the married name. You follow me? So, I mean, maybe it's that. I'm, what I'm saying is we don't know what's going on, okay? We are just highlighting an observation that people have made on the writing credits. Okay, can, can we do that? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.